folks! For the project of today we only need two little nebulizer. Usually I use fields of water and using a little pump we can compress the air inside and create pressure. This pressure will help us to nebulize the water just pushing a little bottle. In this very hot summer it's a very great thing to have a nice sensation. But in this case we will use it without water, it will be only a little air drain reservoir. So let's start to hack the nebulizer. We can remove the plastic tube from the top and put it away. We need now two little caps. So these nail polish caps works great because have the same dimension of the nebulizer as you can see. So we can glue them together. It's very important to choose a non-toxic glue because I don't want to intoxicate myself. So put all the glue all around and let the glue dry. Once the glue dries, we can make a little hole on the top of the nail polish cap, right here, as you can see. Later you will, you will understand why. Let's take now a water bottle cap and also here we need to make holes, one on the left and one on the right. These are 6 mm wide holes. Inside these holes we can insert this vinyl tube, 60 cm of vinyl tube and push it inside. Let's take now a mouthpiece snorkel and with a saw we can cut away the mouthpiece. We will use this part. As you can imagine the pink water bottle cap have the same dimension of the mouthpiece. So using also some non-toxic glue we can glue everything together like this. We can cut in half now the vinyl tube at 30 centimeters almost and insert this tube inside the nail polish caps this time using no glue, it will be a precise hole. As you can see, it stays perfectly in place and it doesn't move and doesn't leak air. So recapping, we have the mouthpiece and the parts where we can screw in place the air tanks. All these parts are a bit uncomfortable to handle them, so I will use a base to mount everything, in this case, a football shim guard. So I can secure the air tanks, one on the right and one on the left, using some nylon strips and fi fix them very strong in place. This is the result. I made some laboratory tests before going in water and the test says me that I can make a full breath underwater for sure. for today i hope you enjoyed the project so let me know below with a thumbs up that is always appreciated and i leave you with my two past projects how to make an air bubble which is a little room where i can stay underwater for about 15 minutes and also how to make a spare fishing rifle so see you next week with another do it yourself tutorial ciao ciao Thank you.